Hey Cancer, welcome to your general love read. This is for June 22nd through the 28th. It is just a general, so it will not resonate for everyone. If it does, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will come back at the end of next week, and whichever video gets the most loving contributions from this week, I will take that video and give it a bonus reading. Also, um, our next goal is 500 subscribers. And if this does resonate, there is an extended video where I go into the flip-flop of what's going on with your person. And that link is in the description box as well. You can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I started yesterday on Instagram doing Monday like mini tarot reads. So we'll see what else I end up doing there. <coughs> Ugh. Somebody needs to hear something in this reading. So I'm going to start with my affirmation deck, pull a card for the collective, lay out an intention, and then the foundation. I will clarify the foundation, and then I will dig deeper into different parts. Um, at the end, I will pull some cards from the universe and an oracle card before I move to that extended, okay? So let's see what's going on for the Cancers. Ooh. Cancer, Cancer. What are you manifesting? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. My, my cancer. So for the collective, <laughs> let me get my granny glasses on here. I curled my hair this morning and you can't even tell. It's like already flat. I don't even know why it bothered. All the rollers and everything. So you get wish. Today you're given the highest form of meditation. This ancient practice of wishing words changes attitudes, feelings, and situations. Your energies begin to shift the wish as it manifests, drawn towards you. The quote is, you can want one thing and have a secret wish for another. So I do feel like you are trying to manifest something. Um, some of you may feel like things are working against you. And time is running out, okay? Because you get this card where you are feeling burdened. So this is over a conflict, but still feeling the burden of it, still feeling like there's actions you wanted to take that you haven't taken, that um, either you're carrying someone or someone's carrying you and you want to make changes, but there's this feeling of being afraid to change, okay? Um, and so you're trying to manifest the lazy man's way, okay? So that's not uh, working out too well for you because you can see it's all just mirroring back towards you. What you need to do is open up to the true energy within you because you know it's there and integrate it all into this wishing process. And that should help you to manifest things better because the overall energy right now is tower. And I feel like this could be what you're trying to do is stop this manifestation from happening. Okay, sorry, he's scared of everything. Um, but what I was being shown here is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Okay, let's try this again. The overall energy here is the tower. And what I'm being shown is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20. 
crows here coming out of this tower, coming off of this tower. And there is one shadow, okay? So 21, all right, is the end of a cycle. Whatever this tower has come up for, whatever it is that you are um, fearful of integrating, that is what this transformation is coming in to do. I feel like that last bit of shadow work that you have to complete is about ending a cycle, okay? The past energy, you have the strength card where you felt like things were balanced and you felt passionate about your life and your soulmate and um, you did feel this inner strength, okay, that you were working towards what you desired. And I feel like you haven't always felt that way. Current energy is Page of Wands. And so this could be that you are really trying to take these new actions, okay? Trying to work through whatever this energy is that you, is in your shadow work that you need to move forward on. Um, and you're trying to be vocal about these things. You're trying to use that wishing words better, okay? Because I feel like you felt like you realized I should say that the lazy man's manifestation was not working for you and you want this happiness and this like coming together more than anything. And we do see here in this future energy, okay, there is that world, there is that ending of the cycle. So I feel like you will see the end of the cycle and move into a better energy as you move through this. Um, let's see if we can't clarify a little deeper and figure out a little more about what's creating all of this. So yeah, there is definitely some fear here, okay? Because we've got this Five of Swords. And it could be a fear of dealing with the inner pain. I feel like there's inner pain. They showed me this um, Seven of Cups. Okay, and this is, they are telling me that this is someone when they were younger. Okay, so I feel like there was this inner pain of a serious breakup, okay, with someone. And that it has stuck with you and you've never really worked through it. Um, I do feel like Two of Swords, that this was not your choice, that it was a feminine that ended this, that um, it was not the masculine's choice. I do feel like uh, this tower moment is a divine masculine, could be either. But you need to remember, again, they're telling me that as you go through this shadow work, okay, and you end this cycle, Ace of Wands there will be a new beginning coming forward, new truths, new understanding. Um, there may even be for a few of you, a chance to um, reconcile with this person and find out that it was never their decision to begin with, that it wasn't their choice to um, be without you and that they've always loved you. So in the past, I feel like the, um, the person that you were with was fun. Two of Wands, Queen of Wands. Fun helped you to find your strength, okay? Felt very passionate about what you were going after, what you desired, okay? And so I do feel like... Um, the person that you've been with has helped you find your strength. However, we get the um, death card. And so I do feel like that it was a relationship, a soulmate connection that was meant to teach you lessons and that you've ta been taught these lessons and now you're just hanging on to it. Yeah, so your current energy you are trying to finally tune in, okay? 
tune into all of this energy, this knowledge, this integration of what it is that you want, Two of Pentacles. Um, and you're working on that happiness. Again, with this Page of Wands, you are working on your happiness. So at the end of this cycle, you're going to rise up from the ashes, okay? This is my phoenix. Um, it is the nine of wands. You're going to finally stand up for what you desire, what you believe in. And I do feel like ace of pentacles, you're going to start over. It's not going to be something that you're going to be out and about, open about immediately. Um, I feel like you're going to kind of let it like baby steps kind of work its magic all right um the only downside here is this five of pentacles that you're you're sad i feel like because you're having to leave behind the person that helped you get this inner strength and the reason i know that it's that is because the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck is that strength card so you're leaving behind this person that helped you so much but um know that it was time for that to happen so it feels like this person from the past that there was this really good energy between you and this person I feel like there was um, a disconnect, though, to how it all ended, okay? And that as you moved forward with this Ace of Wands, with this new passionate beginning after this all ended, you found that you were actually still bound to this past throughout this entire energy since then. Okay, so we've got the um, Eight of Swords here and the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So you were not able to move past this energy. It was like it was stuck inside of you. It kept you from truly accepting other cups. It kept you um, from emotionally attaching to anyone. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Four of Cups. And it kept you afraid of being hurt again. But the Ten of Wands is telling me that it's time for you to deal with these emotions within this Five of Swords that has kept you running away from all of this um, so that you can move forward. The only thing that's stopping you right now, okay, from taking this new action, this Ace of Wands, is you. Because here's the King of Wands blocking the door. Blocking the door from moving on, all right? Because why? Five of Cups in this heartbreak, in this inner conflict, three of wands, unable to get out of your head long enough to actually take this action. So like the universe does, okay, with this person that came in to the strength, this person was sent to you, okay, Three of Cups and Empress. This person was sent to you to walk you through this um, energy of finding the, the playfulness and the... Um, ability to love again and finding that inner strength 
but what it's telling me here is that it is time for this because we've got death now twice here in the past this past person that has given you your strength it is time we have the death card here okay either things need to be um changed within this relationship okay readjusted um bringing back like a true love connection here rather than just a um, teaching relationship it needs to be readjusted okay or you need to let this person go so that you can find your passion so let's see what's going on here a little bit more with this rebirth I feel like you know this, but you're inwardly conflicted about it. Because <clears throat> we've got this full here with the Five of Wands, but there's also the Queen of Pentacles here. And what I'm being shown is that this person, you're holding back them back, okay, from their new beginning. You're holding them back from taking this and creating something more okay and that they will just sit here and wait with you for as long as possible and what what are you waiting on just the inner conflict of this feeling that you can't go so current energy where you are making this decision I mean this decision is about love okay there's that ace of cups it's this very last six of pentacles okay healing the very last bit of your inner child while somebody is waiting for you and clarify okay again two of wands decision healing your heart to make a decision which ship are you going to choose to move on with? So on this end of the cycle, rising from the ashes, I do feel like Six of Cups, you're going to go back to who it was as a child that you really wanted to be with and give them this cup. Okay, because it is a soulmate connection with the Two of Cups here. Nine of Pentacles, you're just working it out. Okay, you're just trying to figure out how it all works. Um, the house around you is come crumbling. You're doing the research. You know that there is some action that you need to take. Okay, and that's, you're working it out. And yes, by leaving this person out in the cold, you're freeing them. Queen of Cups, dumping out the cup, okay? You are freeing them. I've got the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like you are pulling back and saying, okay, I'm letting you free. I'm setting you free to go be where you're meant to be. And this will open up this possibility for that new beginning. I feel like for both of you. All right. Underlying energy. Okay. We have the Hierophant in reverse. They're telling me to keep it in reverse until I feel like that this is about a marriage ending. Okay. And just remember that this Hierophant is the one about finding the key. Okay, the key to your happiness, the key to where you're meant to be. All right, so. The lovers, okay, so yeah, this is soulmate connection. You're guarded about it right now. 
getting ready to take some action. Shining the light on the truth that you probably have always known. At the bottom of the deck, of course, Ace of Pentacles. What did I just say? New beginning, new start. <laughs> and Ten of Pentacles, okay? Moving forward, taking action, justice. You can't make this stuff up, can you? So, Oracle card is seeing the true you. What did I say? This is about seeing the true you, just like I just said. You're figuring it out and you're going to move forward and it's about that integration, okay? You have that last little bit of work that you have to do and then you'll be able to move forward with all of this. Um, I'm going to move into the extended and see which person this brings up and clarify from that angle. Um, and I hope to see you there. Link is in the description box. All right. Bye.